Because I feel like that's how you get the best stuff. It's like when you're not trying and I'm just like in my zone. That's what they want to see is me in action. You know what I'm saying? So like even right now, me explaining this situation to you while I'm walking around. So basically, like they want you to answer these questions. And I don't just want to be standing up there like all just answering one in a row. Like, yeah, this is <laughs> all old school style. I want to be like kind of fresh, you know? So then it's like a couple of different ways I want to do that. Do you want to do it old school, traditional, like documentary style? Flash clips of me in action over top? Do we just use like photo visual references flashed on top? You know what I mean? Around. We could do a Cribs version. <laughs> uh, yeah! 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 I'm a genius. I love it! She's perfect! Are you getting this? Are you getting this? start at the front door yeah you open the door and you say hey this is my name is Justin this is my crib blah, right. blah, blah. who that knocking on my door like the Pope oh come on in <laughs> Alright, so what I do is, before I come in the lab, we have to be nourished, so I stop by the, uh, my chicken setup. I can grab some, get a close on that, grab a piece of chicken. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the nerd. Right. What bum bum bum. I, mean, I, I only came up with nerdatory because... Nerdatory just came up because they were like, oh, we need some nerd stuff. I never considered a nerdatory, you know what I mean? I always thought it was just like, uh, you know, my setup where, I, where we get stuff done. We call it the creation station. That was one of the old words. But yeah, got a green screen slash, check this out. Hollywood doesn't even know how this stuff works, all right? This is how we do high intense action flips, all right? Oh, it's crazy because the green screen is coming up all blurry. Okay. Oh, never Am mind. Focus. We're good. Stay focused. All right. All right. Oh, so in here, it's dual purpose, all right? We got our musicians can come right up in here and then drop some mad beats. Look at that. We got the microphone set up pop and this mattress I've altered to be a soundproofing device. It works great. So um, when the it artist's really in does. here, oh yeah, when the artist's in here, we can just, they can go in the zone, you know what I mean? Dun, dun, dun. Palms are sweaty, 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 you know what I mean? I, that's my inspiration song. It used to be the rock theme, but they ate my pill. No, don't record yet. All right. 8184 video production commercial take one. Do you need a video? Do you need it now? We're the video guys and we offer. <clears throat> Rolling? Yep. Do you need a video? Do you need it now? We're the video guys and we can offer high definition professional quality video at a. <clears throat> Shit. Cut. Do you need a video and do you need it now? We're the video guys, and we can offer video. Uh, cut, don't, no, you don't have to stop. We can offer high definition videos. And we can offer high definition video. Do you need a video? Do you need it now? We're the video guys, and we can offer high definition video at great and affordable prices. Do you need a video? Do you need a video now? We're the video guys. We can offer high definition professional quality video at a great and affordable price. Special events, music videos, band performances, audition demos, corporate functions, reunions, weddings, birthdays. We do it all. Now, I'm gonna That's show you cool. one of my inventions, okay? And if you steal this, then I'll know because everybody would be like, who the hell would come up with some crap? like that. This is my soundproofing box. I call it a box of boots. I found it in the trash three times because my girl thought that it was trash. Uh, I took the egg cartons uh, and formed it into this cool sound compressing chamber. And it's made so that you can take it and hang it up on your bedroom wall. Set up your microphone right here. Just wrap into it, you know what I'm saying? And it just creates this awesome reverb um, sound compress a fact that you can only get in a professional studio. I bring it right to your home. So, the nerdatory. This is where we eat. 
and dying. See, the guests, they come in and they think it's a normal house. They have no idea. There's always somebody sure sitting on the couch. Welcome to the cave, all right? The cave is a little bit under construction right now, but it has that feng shui. It changes all the time, but this is where all things that it's manly go down. You're only as uh, big of a man as your TV. Well, you can see. This guy, I look at it as kind of one of my prizes, a trophy piece, if you will. I spent a lot of time in the robotic industry building robots from Lego Security. Education to the NXT 2.0. And uh, they're a lot of fun. You know I mean, Lego, Legos rule the world. Oh I like God, to keep toys Teddy. around. Uh, just because everybody's like, well, I got toys and stuff. But I'm like, I always catch people playing with them. Right? That's true. I'm like, well, yeah. I like to consider myself not to like something unless it's cool. So if I'm taking an interest in it, it's probably for a reason. You know what I mean? So take a second thought. You know what I mean? Even if it's something that might go over your head or under the radar. Oh, what's this, you ask? You're like, oh, why does he have a paper bag sitting on there? <laughs> There's no Halloween costume. Halloween is coming up. And so I decided to start on my first prototype. I haven't really come up with a good name for it yet. Maybe you guys can help me. Um, but uh, it's actually the like bag Max. Man. It's kind of freaky me. Are you gonna like- It does look kind of creepy. Especially with that outfit. Oh my gosh, because it sort of matches. You look like a scarecrow. The key is that you know it's that eyeball right there. That eyeball. It is pretty creepy. And, you know, boogie, 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 boogie. And if I'm just walking down the street, everybody's like, dude, what the fuck? Get your boogie, boogie face. <laughs> oh, sorry, sometimes it takes over if you leave it on too long. Let's show them where the pimping goes down. He wasn't getting up. Uh -huh. Welcome to where the tent is. See if the tooth fairy left me under my pillow. Uh -huh. Yeah, in the house we have three power stations or creation stations total. One in the man cave, one in the basement, and of course one right by my bed because where better place to have your office than your sleep. You can see we got my man Chris. He's Got the, in the co-pilot station. I always feel like every desk should have two stations. That way you can join brains and work simultaneously. I also do a little something with uh, video games. I make them, I program um, And I teach kids how to do them too, so. And if you can see here, we still got some toys because, you know, there's toys everywhere. I like to keep toys in my life. I feel like that makes life fun. And we only got one life, so it might as well be fun, right? I got one of these good old-fashioned Texas instruments. I know like with all the Xboxes and stuff like that out there, people forget that gaming, what gaming truly is. This is back in the day when we used to be in class and, oh, you know, I gotta stay fresh though, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, can you truly call me a nerd if I stay fresh? Because the gear is essential to the game too, you know what I mean? Just because you got a nerd central, doesn't I mean you have to have a nerd exterior. You keep the J's on fresh, you know what I'm saying? Huh. I only can bust those out on special occasions. Now they say you can tell a lot about a person by their DVD collection. So, I mean, it goes back. I only have the stuff that's important, you know what I'm saying? Like you can have a million DVDs, but if you never watch them, they're just taking up space. Timeless classics, you know, movies that you rewatch because it's an enjoyment rewatching them with people that's never seen before. You know, some of my personal favorite. Oh, Hackers. This one takes me back. I'll never forget the Gibson. Inspired me to be who I want to be. I got tapes going all the way back to my birth. You have your birth? It's my first birthday. So oh, I mean, cool. That's cool. cute. I was, I was even cool then. These document my entire life. Like, Anything that ever happened that was important should go down in history, and it's here. If you know anything about Comic-Con, you probably know something about one of these. You probably have a big old bag. I have a few of them. Really? Right. I mean, they're a hot commodity. When all of a sudden they're like, oh, the Warner Brothers and Kiosk has just released their new bags. Everybody swarms over and it's just like, 
frenzy chaos of me going crazy, ripping out hairs, trying to get a freaking bag to carry more junk in. It's great. <laughs> cool, so I guess we'll do a little exit now. And uh, Chris, you did great, by the way. Hardest, sweetest idea I ever heard, dog. Uh, yeah, we could go in the green screen mode, have some more old parties in the background. Like, yeah, look, we got bitches shaking bodies in the background. Yeah, we got bitches shaking bodies in the background. Yeah, we got bitches shaking bodies in the background. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Fell out in Utah, said, hey, you can't use Entourage Entertainment because I've got Entourage in my name. And you know what I said? I said, you pay me. I said, you know what's going to happen? Tomorrow you're going to wake up in the morning, you're going to think, why did I ever those people, can I give them a call? Maybe we can call Ray. You know, I'm gonna tell them I'm say, Fuck you, pay me. You know what? You're gonna be so upset about that, you're gonna not know what to do with yourself. You're gonna call your mom and say that I'm a loser. You're gonna end up probably killing yourself, hanging yourself with the banister, or maybe your bump bench. You know what? When you call me, I'm gonna say, Fuck you, pay me. I don't have time for this. Shit. I don't tolerate. Bull shit. If you want to sue me, sue me. See you in court. Act like you know. Fuck you, pay me. Jay